Hello, I'm going to show you how to make blueberry pancakes. I think these are perfect for a Sunday morning breakfast as they're quite indulgent with lots of maple syrup on them. The ingredients that are required for this are 150 grams of self-raising flour and a tablespoon of light brown sugar, which I've already put with the flour, and a pinch of salt. Then the liquid is 125 millilitres of milk with one egg and a tablespoon of sunflower oil. Then I have 150 grams of blueberries and then some sunflower oil for frying them. And for serving, you need maple syrup. So the equipment that I'm going to use for these is, first of all, I've got a stick blender, which I find is really good for making a smooth batter. Then I have a silicone spatula, which is heat proof, so I can use it in the pan when I'm cooking the pancakes and it won't melt. And a similar thing, a silicone pastry brush, and then just a little whisk to mix the egg and the milk. The first thing I'm going to do is just to whisk together the milk, the egg and the oil and then that gets tipped into the flour and the sugar and to mix it all together I'm going to use the stick blender. So once that's nice and smooth, you can then stir in the blueberries. And this mixture is now ready to cook. So to cook the pancakes, I'm using a non-stick frying pan, which I find helps for cooking. And it's a nice thick pan, it's a heavy one, so the heat is evenly spread. And I'm going to use the silicone brush to brush a very small amount of oil over the base of the pan. This should heat up fairly quickly. I can feel the heat coming off the pan now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take spoonfuls of the mixture and then spread them out into a round shape. You can normally cook three or four of these at a time. They cook fairly quickly and what I want them to be is sort of a light golden colour on both sides. The secret with these is not to overcook them or they'll become tough. And then once they're cooked, you can take them out of the pan and leave them on absorbent kitchen paper. And then before I do the next batch, I need to grease the pan again. They normally take um, about two to three minutes to cook on each side, but you can keep turning them from one side to the other until they look cooked through. So for serving the pancakes, I think the side that was in the pan first looks the best. So I turn them upside down and stack them up. Normally three to four is enough for each person. And then maple syrup gets poured over the top. I like quite a lot of maple syrup on these. So that's my finished blueberry pancakes. Mm -hmm.